we usually add object to draw. But today we learn drawing something by subtracting. Okay, we start from here. In a setup, I set the color mode to HSV and shape mode, texture line, image mode to center. Then set the stroke and fill to particular colors. In the draw function, we see a rect. To achieve the subtract effect, what I'm gonna do is sandwich this rectangle by those P5 function erase and no erase. Oh, it changed to white? No, actually, what's happening is, in this P5 canvas, including the background, is cut out with this rounded rect shape. So if I change the HTML body color to black, yeah, now you get that, right? The erase function can affect on P5 shapes and text. I also tried with images, but even I put an image between the erase and no erase, that's not gonna happen. So, um, I guess those functions require vector informations. Maybe there's a way to affect on SVG images which contains the vector information, but um, to be honest, at this moment I haven't figured out yet. However, when we use these functions, we very likely don't want to cut out everything, including the background. We just want to subtract the shapes written in the erase and no erase, right? So to achieve that, I introduce one more concept here that may be new to you. That is this create graphics. This function creates second canvas in the main canvas and allows us to handle them separately. So I set the second background to another color, then display the second canvas as an image. Okay, now we got this second little canvas. So from now on, we treat the two canvases like as separate layers. And the reason I made this second canvas is the erase function doesn't affect over the canvas they belong to. So for instance, I set this rect as belong to the layer 2 for now. Yeah, so the layer 2 is cut out, but the main canvas isn't. Right? Oh, but this ref top came to the center. Um, actually, it's a separate canvas, so we need to set the parameters for the layer 2. Hmm, alright. Okay, we just learned the basics, so now let's create this beautiful title animation. Um, the font style is totally up to you, but for this project, I feel like, um, to use this kanji font style <laughs> and since I thought maybe you guys and the girls get interested we usually don't play around with kanji characters, right? Oh, I do, since I'm Japanese, but um, I assume um, most of you don't. I put a download link of the font and a background image in the description below, so if you like it, then take it. So I put the kanji font and the background image in the asset folder in this project. Then in the CSS file, I loaded them in this function preload. Then set some parameters for the text and the image. I set the text size much bigger. I also make the text belong to the layer too. Uncommented rectangle. Hmm, cool. If you go to translate a site called DeepL and translate red cherry blossoms to Japanese, then we can find the kanji characters I want to use. So I copy and paste them here. Hmm, nice. Oh, um, I set the stroke weight to 3 to increase the thickness a little bit. Hmm, okay. Oh, by the way, this word we Japanese pronounce like benizakura, that's red cherry blossoms. So yeah, I also added those texts here. Okay, now I replace the background with the cherry blossoms image. Hmm, alright, so let's take a break a little bit. If you want to create this nice blood falling petals, I will put the second half video over top right here when I upload it. 